On today's show, why automakers are having trouble filling cybersecurity jobs. Inrix develops a new app that learns your driving habits, and I have two quick tips that may just help you avoid getting pulled over. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for April 1st of 2016. Nearly seven years ago, Kia kicked off production in the U.S. at its West Point, Georgia plant. And early in the week, the two millionth vehicle rolled off the assembly line, a 2016 Sorento. That's quite a milestone. The facility, which also builds the Optima, is responsible for more than 40% of all Kias sold in the U.S. If you're looking to drive around in style, Honda's got the shoe for you. The automaker just released the HT3 driving shoe that was inspired by the 2016 Honda Civic. They feature a quilted leather pattern on the heel and a suede shroud to cover the laces that, when opened, reveals the Civic logo. The shoes retail for 100 bucks and are on sale now. Inrix, a company that uses data from connected cars and predictive technologies to gauge the flow of traffic, just introduced an updated version of its Inrix traffic app. It's the first mobile app that's able to learn your routine and preferences to create a daily itinerary of anticipated trips, alerts, favorite destinations, and preferred routes. The app is available now for both iOS and Android users in 16 countries in North America and Europe. And still to come, I'll take you back inside the Autoline garage for a few quick tips to make sure your lights are working properly. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by Borg Warner, feel good about driving. The other day while driving home, I saw a rash of vehicles all with the same problem, a problem that cops love to use as an excuse to pull you over. So I shot a video with my own quick tips to help ensure you're not a future offender. How often would you say you see someone with a burnt out headlight or taillight? It probably happens every single day, but you never want it to be you. Now you might get lucky and your blinker might start blinking faster if a light's out but I have a couple of quick and easy tips for you to make sure it never happens. And you never have to get out of the vehicle or get someone to help you. Let's start with the headlights. You ever notice how when you're sitting at a stoplight, you can see your reflection in the vehicle in front of you? Well, if your lights are on, just check to make sure they're working. As for the taillights, all you have to do is back up to a garage door, a building, or what works best is a storefront with a bunch of windows but you can sit inside your vehicle and check both mirrors to make sure they're working. You may have to pump your brakes a couple of times or wait till it's darker out, but it's a quick and easy way to make sure all your lights are working. So my tip to you is be lazy and stay inside your car. I sure hope this is something that can help you out. Or if you have your own tricks, I'd love to hear them. Just leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Back in 1985, the Kansas City Royals were baseball's world champions, and to celebrate their win, Ford produced a limited-run Ranger model called the MVP Edition. Well, the team just brought home their second title, and Ford will once again offer an MVP Edition. This time around, it's based on an F-150 XLT and comes with special MVP badging and unique stainless rocker panels. Only 300 examples are being built, and they're on sale now in the Kansas City area. And coming up next, a look at why there's a massive shortage of cybersecurity jobs. Cybersecurity is a growing concern in the auto industry, but one of the problems fighting hackers is finding the talent to fight it. And it's not just automakers, there's a shortage of 1.5 million cybersecurity positions across the country. 
The VP of Engineering and Operations at cybersecurity company Towersec told us on AutoLine this week why it's hard to attract talent. So th that's where part of the problem lies, right? You don't have traditional schooling where you can go get a degree in cybersecurity. You, there are courses that you can do these days, uh, but if you look at the pure disciplines, there's really no cybersecurity as a pure discipline. So you train in engineering, you train in an underlying uh, technical field, and then, like Bryson said, it's all about the art. Security is a mindset. And what we look for is somebody who can think out of the box, somebody who can take something that's built with some design specification and flip it on its head and say, what if I you know, did something X, Y, Z with it? How would the system react? Somebody who inherently thinks like that, we, uh, and you'll be surprised at all the various places we found good talent like that. So sometimes you'll be surprised by a fresh uh, graduate coming out of college. Sometimes it'll be a veteran uh, from a parallel industry. So people in the aerospace, they think you know differently. We've had success there. People who've done telecommunications, we've had success there. So it all, we bring people with that attitude and then we tra cross train them in the, 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 the domain that we are in and so they get that knowledge. There, there really is no easy way of doing it. You have to train on the job. To learn more about cybersecurity and how the military and auto industry are working together on the issue, you can watch that entire discussion right now on our website, autoline.tv. That wraps up today's show. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.